Greetings everyone, I hope you can see me here. Today we're going to do practicing clouds. I'm going to try to show you the different brushes you can use with clouds and try to do it a little bit slower so that you can really see exactly how clouds are done. So I've got my canvas done already. It's already primed with the liquid white or magic white, whichever. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to just put some Prussian blue on for the sky. We want to make it look a little bit realistic. I'm just going to tap into the thing. I got this issues in palette paper so you can see it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to just make the little X's for the sky. I don't know if we'll turn this into a painting or not. We might. Who knows? You never know. I'm just going to go ahead and cover the sky. I'll probably make this whole thing all sky, just so we've got the sky here. in there. As you can see, I probably didn't get my magic white spread around very good here. It makes some little, that little bumpy there is because you didn't get the magic white spread around good enough. that in there like that. Get them all over here too. Not going to worry too much about the little streaks here and there, whatever. Push that paint right into the canvas. Really good. Like so. Don't worry about some light spots. It's good up in there. It's a little bit lighter, darker, whatever. When you're doing a sky, it really doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and we'll wash this brush real quick. Although I do have several brushes running, so I'm going to try not to do too much water right now. Let's see okay, first one we're going to do is, we'll do a smaller one first with the fan brush. So we just load up our paint in your fan brush. Just pull that paint right out, wiggle it, load it right up in there nice and good. And we just come up into the top and the very corner of the brush, just put it in little circles. Little circles. Just let it let it flip around, let it get a little wild, whatever you want to do. Just like that. That's all there is to it. So what we want to do now is we'll wash this brush real quick. And then as you know already, I think, hopefully you've been watching my videos, so you'll know what the next step is. We're going to go ahead and take a nice, clean, dry brush, and we're going to take the very corner of it and just blend in the bottom of it, just a little bit like this. Blend in the bottom a little bit like that. However much you want to do it. That will change the shape of your cloud and blend it in. The next part is, just kind of wipe the brush off very gently. Just flick it up very gently. You can see, if you look really close, you can see where this paint, the loose paint, is pulling up just a little bit. Just kind of grab it and give it a little pull. 
And all you got to do is very gently go across. Very lightly. Very lightly. Very lightly. That's all there is to it. So now, what if you want that cloud to have a little bit of a, make it kind of chaotic? You want some different, a different color in there, maybe a, a little bit of a gray, a little bit of a grayish color. So we'll put some white in with some black. And we'll do the same thing. We'll start over again, and we can just come right here. Just go right up. Right up into the other cloud. Just keep going. Just like that. Then you got some gray in there. Just wash your brush off. We're going to use it again, so you need to be clean. And we'll do the same thing. Very gently. Just pull that darker part up in. The other cloud, and don't forget to get on the bottom here a little bit. Blend it in the bottom. Pull it up just a little bit. Then very gently go across the top. Just like that. And you could do that with a, a little bit of blue in there, or a little bit of purple, or whatever color you want. Some yellow. Once you get that done, let's say you want another white cloud. No problem. Just grab you some more white paint. Come on the other side of it. Let's just say you want to just have a cloud up in here. Just like so. Maybe you want it to flop up in there a little bit more. Whatever. Same thing. Wash your brush. Take your nice clean dry blending brush. This is it. Go along the bottom. Just the corner of that brush. Go along the bottom of it. Try to keep some of the contours in there that you can. Don't want it to be too straight. Do the same thing. I use just tap it off, get some of the loose paint off it. Pull it up very gently, like so, and grate right across the top. Grate right across it, very gently. Fluff it right up. There you go. A nice little cloud with a little bit of a darkness into it. I'm going to wash this brush again real quick because I'm going to be kneading it. Now we're going to do a cloud with a smaller brush. Say you just want some little clouds, just a little bit of a brush. You see the rounded edge on the top. This is a filbert. And then you just take some of your white paint. Say you want it to have a little bit more control over it. So you can take your filbert. Whoops. Right into the paint with that. Take your filbert. Same thing. Just barely touch it. Flop it around. Move it around. A little bit of paint at a time. Grab some more paint as you need it. And you can just even dab it in there. Just like that. We have some more paint. Say you want some more white up in the top, just just drop it in. Tap it right in there. Just like so. That's all there is to it. Wash your brush. Then just take your same brush, your dry brush, same thing. Just come along the bottom first. Do your blending first, always first. I forget sometimes. I'm going to go around the bottom, blend it out, very gently, pull it up. And just go across it, very gently, and blend it in. Just like that. Those small, tiny little clouds. Make tons of those. Now, let's say you want to take 
and use a bigger brush. If you got a big painting, you want to paint some clouds with a bigger brush. So let's just do that. We'll take this same brush right here. We'll get some white. Load it right up really good on both. And then you can just take the corner of the brush and you can get some really big fluffy clouds this way. Just push it right up in there, let it dance around, fluff them around there really good. Dance around, come on down this way, just like that. Then just take your dry brush, same thing. You got some fluffies up here, so you might as well keep that cloud. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. Blend it in the bottom. Just like so. Tap it off. Fluff it up. Very gently. Fluff them up really gently. And come across very gently across the top. Blend it in. Just like that. You get some nice, beautiful little clouds. Just like that. Now, another thing you can do is wash this off while we're talking. Make some little floater clouds. You can do that like Bob Ross. So with your floater clouds, you can do the same thing. You probably could have done it even with your, your bigger brush, would have been fine. But it works probably just as well, if not better, just use your fan brush for your little floater clouds. And let's just grab you some white paint again. Load it up really nice. And then just take and just tap your brush in. like so. Just tap them in. Maybe you want another one down here below it. Try to get that at a good chisel edge. Make them as fat or skinny as you want them. Just make it some little floater clouds. Just like so. And those kind of clouds right there, basically you can you can blend a little bit on the bottom if you want to. If you don't want to see that raggedy part of it, you want them just to be nice and straight and floating along, nothing there to it. Then just go across, horizontally, go across, just like so. Let them stretch right out, and that's how you do the little floater clouds, just like that. Now you can do clouds even with a big old two inch brush. And I'm sure you've seen how to do that, but you basically do it the same way as you did with the one inch brush. And that's your lesson on getting started making clouds. Now you can make clouds with all kinds of different colors. You can do the this grayish colors. You can put black in there. You can do anything you want to with it. Um, practice experiment with it. Take a piece of canvas, you know, if it's just a little cheap 11 by 14 like this one and just practice doing the clouds. Scrape them off and just blend it back in like that. And you can, and that way you don't have to worry about wasting it. You can see, you just take, scrape this paint off just like this. Wipe it off. Use your knife. Scrape that cloud right off. And you can still use it for something else. Like I'm fixing to do here in just a minute. So then you just take your brush and just blend it out. Just like that. The extra paint there won't hurt nothing. You can use this canvas for another painting. It might even work out well for you for, a, for a, your sky that you already want. Who knows? But that way you don't have to worry about wasting it. I know painting can be a bit costly when you're buying canvas and stuff. So just try to use it the best you can. So we go across just like that and we've got the canvas all to ourselves again. 
that simple. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative to you. And we'll see you the next time. Happy painting!